here we go. First off, we're going to talk, talk about this All-Star game. I just want to get that out of the way. Uh, I think that's the biggest off-the-field news for the Braves, obviously. That's what's been on national news lately is the All-Star game. And, you know, I'm not going to get political here. There's There's been a lot of political talk when it comes to this. I, I That's not what this channel is, uh, nor will it ever be. I don't plan to do that. With that said... I'm sure you already know Atlanta lost the all-star game over a voting bill in Georgia. So regardless of your stance on that, the political scene of this whole thing, I would like to paint the picture the way I see it. Uh, It's not in a political light. Uh, Everyone has an opinion on this and MLB certainly took its stance and that's, you know, their decision to make. But a lot of members in baseball media have either stayed quiet Uh, if they're with the Braves usually, or they've spoken out in support of this decision typically. Let me be clear, I am not in support of this decision at all, and it has nothing to do with this bill implications or the politics behind it in any capacity. Politics is not really the lens that I see through. Uh, This has everything to do with the All-Star game and the way the decision was made by Major League Baseball and by Rob Manfred, and we're going to talk about that. I know a lot of people have an opinion on this. It's been all over social media, rightfully so. And I honestly didn't want to talk about it. Uh, If you noticed last week, I did not speak on this topic whatsoever before the announcement was dropped. Uh, I avoided it as long as I could. Uh, But now it's actually happened. And I know you guys are going to want to know what I think about it. So this is what I think. The All-Star Game has not been in Atlanta since I was an infant. Okay, that's not atypical. It only happens every, you know, you know, couple of decades. It, it doesn't happen a lot. Some teams have never had one. Atlanta was lucky to have had just one. With that said, that's how big of a deal an All-Star game is. So the announcement that, you know, the All-Star game was coming to Atlanta that happened 2 years ago put a lot of excitement into my house. Uh, we are baseball people. That's what we do. Uh, We already made hotel reservations like the day of the uh, just to make sure we would be there. Uh, With that said, the recent announcement that it was going to be moved triggered a very negative reaction out of myself. And I took a couple of days to think about it, think about how I was going to uh, talk to you guys about it, because, again, I knew you guys were going to know, going to want to know what I thought about it. And again, I'm not speaking politically here whatsoever, uh, but strictly as a baseball observer. There are two extremes with this issue. I typically fall into the category of keeping politics outside of baseball as much as possible. That, that's typically the way I see it. Sometimes, though, uh, both of those two entities draw outside the lines. Politics and sports wind up mixing at some point or another, and sometimes for the better. I do think that players and teams should be able to use their platform uh, to invoke change. And, you know, they've earned that platform. They deserve to be able to use it just like you or I on our own personal social media. They deserve to use their platform the same way. Uh, with that said, I think Major League Baseball jumped the gun on this one for sure. I really like what Freddie Freeman had to say about this, uh, using Atlanta as a platform to invoke change. All of that aside, this would have been a really good year to have it in Atlanta. And not for the usual reasons you're going to hear. I don't mean economically. The year they had last year, almost making it to the World Series, they're one of the hottest teams in baseball. This team is built for the future. They're going to be here a long time. And they're, frankly, a team that has done nothing wrong. Uh, This is not the Braves' fault. That is one of the biggest misconceptions amidst Braves fans that aren't diehard. You know, if you're watching my channel, you probably know as well as I do that this is not anything to do with the Braves, but a lot of people don't get that. A lot of these people that buy tickets every year are, are going to boycott the Braves because, because of this decision by Major League Baseball. Um, I think it is a bit unfair to the players for the Braves, uh, the fans of the Braves, and to this organization to make a decision based on a law that the state passed. Uh, they're still a part of Major League Baseball. Uh, it's also unfortunate that they're moving it out of Atlanta for other reasons. Everyone knows about the loss of Hank Aaron and how much of a toll that te- that took on Major League Baseball, how much of a toll that took on Major League Baseball fans, and specifically Braves fans. Uh, the Braves have lost a lot of legends this year. We all know. Uh, frankly, they're legends that I think deserve to be honored, and it would have fit right into the All-Star game. Uh, you can't tell me that they weren't planning on honoring Hank, Phil Necro, 
Bill Bartholomew and Don Sutton. You can't tell me that was not in the plans. I'm sure it was. And I know Major League Baseball said that they still plan to honor Hank wherever the All-Star game may be. I, I also don't think honoring Hank Aaron in L.A. or San Diego or Boston or New York would, would have the same levity. Uh, Atlanta was his team, his uniform, his city. He stood for civil rights in Atlanta. The other Braves, you know, Phil Necro, frankly, is someone that means a lot to me. Uh, I would have liked to have seen him be honored with a tribute. Don Sutton, former Dodger, but Braves Hall of Fame broadcaster. And, you know, they mean something, you know, to the Braves fans. Bill Bartholomew, the guy that brought the Braves to Atlanta, they deserve to be honored. And I doubt they'll be honored in any other city. I just do. And why would they? Uh, it, it wouldn't matter to those fans. It wouldn't matter to that organization. And I, Frankly, I don't think honoring Hank Aaron, as much as he meant to baseball, I don't think honoring Hank Aaron holds the same levity as honoring him at home. Uh, and, and again, Atlanta was his home. And, you know, there, there were other celebrations that I know about kind of under the radar that the Braves had planned, and I'm sure we would have loved to have seen them as well, honoring former All-Stars. You know, but the other thing, Atlanta is the gateway to the South, Um it has a nationwide audience. Before MLB Network, there was TBS. And the Braves cover, frankly, Georgia, Alabama, Kentucky, Tennessee, North South Carolina. I would argue Florida and some of Louisiana. Braves country is a lot bigger than just Georgia. And, I, you know, a lot of teams have that kind of fan base, and the Braves are one of them. They're a big part of the dinner table here. And if you want to make a statement, why not do it head on in that city? Face it head on. Do I, I think politics has a – place in baseball honestly not not on my channel this is not something i like to talk about this is not something that i get into a lot if you've noticed i haven't talked one time about the politics here uh but it seems politics has a place in everything at the moment uh you, you can't escape it and as much as the country changes baseball should be allowed to have that ability as an organization to do the same but it should never isolate one of its own teams that's my problem with this situation. That is my fundamental problem. This directly affects one team, one organization, and one fan base. It's basically a protest here. And if this was happening to any other team, I would feel the same way. If this was happening to the Cubs or the Padres or you know, the Brewers, whoever it may be, I would feel the same way. In a perfect world, this is what I would have liked to have seen. I, I'll just tell you, I'll run it down what I would have liked to have seen. If you just had to take the game out of Atlanta because of this bill, put it in Los Angeles for 2021. They lost it in 2020 because of COVID. Let them take it, push the Braves back a year. But also Major League Baseball, Rob Manfred, consult with Atlanta. That obviously did not happen because my biggest issue is that the Braves seem to be blindsided by this. And you're going to see what I'm saying in a second. The Braves... All right, Rob Manford dropped his statement on the movement of the All-Star Game shortly after the Braves released their statement, and they were far from similar. The Braves stated that this was, quote, unquote, this was, quote, neither our decision nor our recommendation, and we are saddened that fans will not be able to see this event in our city. Regardless of how you feel about it, you, you can we can all agree that you now have two camps on both sides split in opposite directions. That's a problem. Uh, the Braves feel like they've been punished for something that they couldn't control, which they were. And MLB feels like they have to stick with their decision now with fear of adding fuel to the fire if they were to move it back to Atlanta. To me, this could have all been avoided. Obviously, Rob Manfred had a lot of pressure put on him by the Players Association and others. But if Major League Baseball, a.k.a. Rob Manfred, just counseled with Alex Anthopoulos and the Braves more, this could have been avoided. What I mean by that? Explain the position Major League Baseball feels they're in. There's obvious pressure there. Explain they're going to move the game to Los Angeles. Then say, hey, Atlanta, next year it's yours after this whole fiasco dies down. But I think then you at least see a more congruent press release from the Braves and a much more unified fan base of Major League Baseball. And the Braves also don't feel like they've been robbed of something, which, of course, they were. Uh, the obvious economic factor here. The obvious, I mean, just having it in Atlanta drives a lot of people to the city, but it also drives a lot of money into the city and to the organization. We all know the Braves are struggling with money right now. That's public information. But that's how you make a statement as an organization. When I, when I say organization, I mean Major League Baseball. You make a statement with continuity and congruence all across the platforms. Imagine how big, 
how much of a bigger statement it would make if the team that is directly in this state not only agrees with you, but also says, yes, we will sacrifice this uh, this year if we get it back next year. No matter how you slice it, public opinion is divided on this, uh, and it really always will be. To me, it never really had to be, and that's my issue. Again, my issue here is that the Braves were blindsided by it. My main issue is not the politics. I, I honestly couldn't care less about the politics. I'm not into politics. That is not where I'm speaking from. My issue comes from the way MLB handled this situation. They made the Braves the bad guy. No matter how you feel about it, someone here is the bad guy, whether it be the Braves, whether it be Major League Baseball, someone in this scenario is the bad guy, and the fans are obviously going to pick a side. So now you have people boycotting the Braves when they can't control it. You have people boycotting Major League Baseball and losing fans when we're already struggling to keep fans. This is a problem, and a problem that I think never should have happened. 